In today's video, I will show you how to use the Unsplash API. This is what the final result will look like once you have everything set up. Right now, I'm using a free program called Postman to easily make API calls. Once I have the API call set up, I'll just hit send and I'll see a response back from the Unsplash API. In this specific example, I'm getting a random photo and able to see all of the data that relates to this random photo. So to be able to make your own Unsplash API calls, the first thing we need to do is to register for an account, which we can do by going back to the link that I have here. Once we're on this page, just click on this button that says register as a developer. Now I'll just fill out this form and I'll resume the video once I'm done filling out the form. Once you fill out this information, just hit join. And you should now see a page similar to this. Once you're on this page, just click on this box that says new application. And here, just check all of the boxes and then hit accept terms. And now I just put an application name. You can just put anything you'd like. I'll just do test and just do test here and click create application. You should now see this page. And there's only one thing that we really need from this page. And that is the access key. So just copy to your clipboard. Once we have this, we can just go to documentation. And now I'll show you how to make your first Unsplash API call. The first call we're going to make is the one I showed in the example. And it's just to get a random photo. So I'll just click the link here. If we look at the description of the API call, we can see that it just retrieves a single random photos given optional filters. And here we can see all the optional filters that we can pass in if we want to. If we scroll down a little bit more, we can see what the expected response is and all of the attributes that it offers. So to make this API call, we can just scroll to the top and just copy this route that says like uh, backslash photos backslash random. Once we have that copied, we can just open the Postman application and just create a new request and just make sure it says get. And I'm going to go back to the example I had and just copy this route exactly how I have it with the api.unsplash.com followed by a route we just copied. And the very last thing we need to do is just to add a new query parameter and it's going to have a key of client ID and the value will just be the access key that we copied from earlier. So just paste that in. Once you have all that set up, just hit send. And you should now see a very similar response of a random photo that's coming back from the Unsplash API. Now we can see all the information about this random photo, such like the width, height, as well as the actual uh, image itself by going to one of these URLs. And you can just do command click to follow the link. And now it's showing us the random photo that the Unsplash API returned to us. The next API call I want to show is getting the stats back for any given photo. So we can just go to this section that says get a photo statistics and just click on it. If we look at the description over here, we can see that we can get back information such as the total number of downloads, views, and likes for a given photo. And all we need to do is pass in the photo ID. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see an example response where we can see the total number of downloads as well as how many downloads we got each day. And if we scroll down a little bit more, we can see the same thing for the views as well as the number of likes as well. So to make this API call, we can just scroll back up and copy the route just like we did last time. Then we can just switch over to the Postman and just copy this exact route that I have here. The only difference is you just need to update the route and where it has like the ID, you just need to put a photo ID and you can just get a photo ID from the random photo that we got earlier. If you look at the very first like attribute, it should be the ID, just, just copy that value. And then we can now just paste it where this ID is and hit send. And now you should see all of the attributes like the downloads, number of views, as well as the number of likes for the specific photo. And the last API call I want to show is how to get a list of photos given a specific query. And we can do that by going back to documentation and clicking on search photos here. Once we're on this page here, we can see that what query parameters that we need to pass in, as well as the actual route to search for a photo. The only query parameter that we'll be using in this specific example is just going to be the query param here. So if we switch back to Postman, and I go back to this third example here. You can just copy the exact uh, URL that you see here and just make sure to update your client ID. And for the query, you can type whatever you'd like. In this example, I just did food and I'll just hit send. If we look at the results, we can see that we now got back a list of photos based on the query that I typed in, which is food in this case. If I open up the link here, we can see that this is a picture of food. And if I open up the next result, we should also expect to see another picture of food and that's what you see in this case. And that's the end of this video. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.